y'all check out i got my hair that i'm about to uninstall <laughs> just to let you know what i did this is some uh, marley hair that i recycled from previous hairdo and i'm about to do it again i typically don't wear my hair this long and i did it this length by mistake because i was trying to make sure that i twisted past my own natural hair but let me tell you i have been enjoying the length because it's been so easy to whip my hair up in so many different hairstyles on the fly my hair like this i can care for it as you know you know i put my hair tea in I grease my scalp with the good oils and I um, do my leave-in just really care for my hair to cultivate it and can let it allow it to continue to flourish however it's gonna do um, I am going to recycle this hair again I'm gonna take it out I'm going to it's two pieces that I made put together so that the hair is long but I'm gonna take those two pieces and adjust them to make the hair shorter so I'm gonna take the hair out adjust the length of each of the pieces bundle it up and I'm going to wash it in a apple cider vinegar solution and I might include some essential oils depending on how I feel just to work with the energies of the plant that those oils come from I'll think about it oh this is not crochet my hair is not cornrowed I did not use any crochet needles or anything like that very primitive in nature if you've seen any of my previous videos any of them where i'm doing some hair it's pretty easy and simple and primitive and i like to just move yeah i like to cut corners okay but also still have the look so the look for less and in this case i'm cutting the corners by recycling some recycled hair cleaning it up i'm going to recycle the parts and yes i took the time to part the front of my hair the front section so it'll look decent when I go to flip it. I took the time to add enough twist so that it looked like I had a real head of hair. I did not cut corners on that, but it was still such a painless process. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. And um, yeah, let's get into cleaning this hair. Okay, as you can see, I've done most of my hair all except for one piece, so I can do a demonstration. This piece has product in it, so I've already prepped it for the most part, but the hair is shorter. And let's get started. Okay, so um, what did I put in here? I put my melanin hair care, and I put my shea butter mixture that I did myself in this shea butter I infused it with lavender and with clear quartz crystal along with some other essential oils to and the clear quartz crystal is to elevate the um, the ingredients that are in here the benefits of all of the ingredients the lavender for the calming effect and also I have some vanilla essential oil and things like that for manifestation alright so that's what that is that's what I've been up to um, crystalline anyway my piece of hair here's my hair it is nice and clean and what I'm gonna do even though um, this hair does not absorb product I am going to prep it by putting some of the melanin hair care oil on I'm just going to put some in my hand here rub it in and then I'm just going to rub it through the hair I think I want to make the hair a little bit shorter so I'm just making it a little bit shorter because before the hair was longer like touching the my butt like the top of my butt and I was like okay it's nice it's okay I can do a lot of styles with this 
but I want it shorter, so I made it short like this. Okay, all right, now, since I'm doing the front of my hair, first off, let me just run that through. Since I'm doing the front of my hair, I'm just gonna put a little bit of gel, any gel will do. I got stuff, you know, I need to use up. So I'm just putting some gel all around the perimeter. And I'm just going to separate this piece here. And I'm going to take the middle. Make sure I'm, I have it at the middle. And I'm going to lay that right here in the part. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to lay it right there in the part. Boom. Now, some people will use a clip to clip one side. I don't really feel like I need a clip, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you how that looks. And so you have the hair laying between your two pieces of hair. And now I'm simply going to twist. I'm going to do about two passes really tight at the top. Like so. And then I'm going to grab this piece. And I'm going to come around once partially. Remove the clip. Grab a hole and keep twisting down real simple and easy now as I'm doing this I know I'm a little bit extra but because my hair is going to be um, twisted for a little while I want to make sure I add more product to everything and I'm going to lock in with more of the shea butter mix because that will help keep my hair from frizzing up and popping out as time goes on and it helps my hair last longer the last time I did this I used Vaseline which works also but I get more benefit from the shea butter especially my DIY mixture with my crystal infusion my crystal and herb infusion actually now I'm not sure if I'm gonna let the ends just stay like this or if I'm gonna take it you know that extra step and you know maybe twirl them or something and then heat them up I'm not sure really I'm okay with either or um, you know but that's it this is it of course I'm gonna put some crystals or barrettes and things in it let me look at it myself let me take a quick look let me see yep all right so let me get closer the product will dry. See how it looks on my scalp. Oh, I got a pimple. That pimple is coming up. It looks believable this way. I did not make this up, um, but I loved it. It was just so, you saw how fast I did it. It was just so easy to do without having to use a crochet. Um, not a crochet needle, but a latch hook needle. Or even a crochet. Sometimes I'll use a hairpin instead, which could help make it faster also. But I just like this way because it's faster. It makes the it makes it look like it's just natural and it lasts a long time. Alright, so that's it for that. Until the next video, live simply and be kind.